Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be making some basic benches, and that involves taking the first cut off the top of a log. I'm going to set this to six inches. That takes care of the ladder and should leave a nice cut on there. So I'm just adjusting the Alaskan mill and you undo these bolts and then we'll raise it up to six inches. A little bit more. This is always the finicky part. This is always the difficult part because it's pretty heavy lifting up the whole mechanism. It's basically just a little U-bolt. I'll show you here. It's basically a U-bolt that goes around here that clamps this to the to the square stock here. And it has measurements on there to help you out a little bit, but I still check it with a tape measure to make sure it's consistent. So I'll move it up to six. Usually, if I go five and three quarters, it would be six inches. That's just the way the scale works with the taking into account the saw, the curve of the saw. So I'm gonna raise this up, both sides to six, and go from there. And then generally what I do, because it's hard to do this with one person, is I tighten one side. It's not completely, I see there it went down. I went down to the proper height though. Move this oil bottle over a bit. So I'm gonna go get a tape measure. I'm just gonna measure the height here to make sure it's consistent. So I've got this on the actual machine, on the mill itself at five and three quarters. I'm just gonna show you what the, the height is here. Can I do that? If you look here, there's two, there's the, bar on the far side and then there's the bar here when I line those up with my eyes it's pretty close to six and get like five and seven eighths on this side Same deal, so we're good. Five and seven eighths is good. Because this is just gonna cut off the top of the log. You'll see what I mean in the next part of the video. But now I wanna tighten these. So there's no movement. I don't wanna over tighten either. And 
brake bolts. Okay, one step done. Now let's gas it up. Cane oil. This is always finicky with all these handles. Just gotta take it slow and see where she goes. There we go. Beautiful. Then, one thing that I will do is I'm gonna clean the filter, air filter. This usually gets pretty dirty. Yeah, look at all the sawdust in there. I'll take it out, I just don't like getting it. Here, let's do it away from the machine. Oops, throwing it around here. We'll actually go and put some air through it, I think. Air through the compressor. Uh oh, don't have the compressor plugged in. This might not go as well as planned. Usually have it plugged in. Oh, I hear air in it anyway. Just gives it a little bit of, a little bit more breathing room. Pop it back in. I just hand tighten that. There was a time when I used to use a screwdriver on that, but I don't find that effective. Okay. We're good to go there. All right. So as in past videos, plan is to cut this, top off this piece of wood, and that would be a nice bench. I didn't bring the other chainsaw, which is kind of foolish. To get a nice cut off this, but I think we'll be okay. Let's see where we can go here. If I go like that, that's actually really, that's pretty stable there to be honest. Can you go in the back, back of the truck house and then grab the drill and the little bucket? There's a bucket in there. That's pretty stable there. Then we'll get a good cut off this. Come down six inches about there. do that on the other one. 
And then maybe if we're strong enough, we can get it into the back of the truck. I don't know. All right, let's put it in the top. Okay, here. I don't do it very forcefully. I don't want to twist the ladder. A nice little grab in there. Now we got to get some pieces under here to hold this up. And because we haven't been here in a while, we'll have to search so Allison can you come find pieces like this so we just find old scraps and then we place them underneath the ladder to keep it from bending one way or the other Okay, let's go, Bubs. Find some pieces like this. Even some big, sometimes a big log works too for a end like this where it's. Just and then I can put a wedge in there. That's all it takes. It's nice. It's like you're walking up there. Yeah, I think there's a bear up there or a deer. about yeah. far away no. remember the wind up here can do weird stuff I, know, but still. I heard something too but I think it could be a bird sometimes birds are just as loud this is a little bit too big get, get more pieces get some bigger pieces please Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it scared me, but if that's what I'd do, if there was a cougar or a bear, I'd be yelling like that, I tell you. You scared us, Dan. Woo! Were you that's... up there? No, we're just going there. Oh, we heard something up there, too. Is that the ro was that the, is that on camera? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. That scared me. Yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> Woo! I said, hey, Dan. I know, but I didn't. Every time. Scared me there. 
Yeah. Holy smokers. Huh? What do you what do you need my help with? I really did. Yeah, that was like walking. Was For Pete's sake, why is this being harder than normal? Where's that big thing you had before? I thought it was too big. It might work right here, right? Well, well. No, 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 those weird wedgie ones. Oh. Now, if you want to go with the camera, so. Yeah, that was on video. It was? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is what we have here. If you notice, it's kind of a little bit archaic and rustic, and or not rustic, it's a little bit primitive, I guess is the right word, is these are underneath here to keep the ladder from moving. Because when you have a smaller diameter log, the ladder doesn't sit as well. Although I've got it sitting pretty good because there's some stub or leftover branch nubs there that are holding it really nice and sturdy. But on this side here, you can see I've kind of done a little mix and a little wedge under here just to hold it so the saw doesn't, doesn't move it up and down. So it's pretty good. as I'm going along the vibrations are knocking out some of my stabilizers but I just was very cautious of that and made sure that I didn't twist the ladder too much and at that point I wasn't going to stop to put them back in it's just sometimes it's not worth it
And here I'm just going to get Dan to help hold the very end so when I hit the end of the ladder it doesn't it doesn't kind of knock down and put a weird little twist at the end of the end of the board. And you can get those two wet wooden things out of the back of the truck. Yeah. What? I think we should take a little slice off that personally, but what slice? Right there. Closer. Closer to me. Right there, go right as tight as you can. Yeah, that's good. And I get the other one. Here, before we do that, let's move this over there with those other ones. Right over there. Just up, upside down? Just Wait. throw it on, doesn't matter. It's gonna be firewood anyway. No, no, you gotta go up. Okay, you can do that, yeah. Okay, where's the... Uh, can you clean that off? That might be pretty good actually, but I don't know if we can lift that out of the... That's good. Now we need to roll this one onto there. Should have brought the PV. Should have brought the PV. See if we can do it. Lighten up, I think. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. PV would have been much easier, but it's not bad. That's pretty good. Can you lift your end over? Don't hurt yourself? Yeah. There we go. Okay, get the ladder, Allison. Get the ladder on top. That could be an issue. So you can unscrew it at that point? Huh? Or? You just can hold the same thing just as you go off of it. Yeah, but there you really have to hold it because it will fall right off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, give me the drill, please.
get me some pieces now. Probably good there. You got it. Hey, this doesn't have anything. Down here. No, that's like that one's just the end of the day. So here I'm just actually screwing some little logs in so when the vibrations happen they don't actually wiggle loose. So that's why I'm using the drill here for the last part. I just got to make sure the screw doesn't go below the 6 inch part so I don't cut through the screw. That's the only piece I got to be really careful about. Any of these work? Because they're uh, not quite the same, but they're still wedge like.
So this one was a little awkward to get started just because of the other log just on my left hand side was a little bit in the way so I had to have it at quite an angle to get it started and just had to start on an angle and then as it went in get it straight. It worked out. It could have been a lot worse. Take one more off of that. Pardon me? Take one more cut off of that. 
So I just decided here to take one more cut off the top and we decided to go with like an inch, inch and a quarter cut off just to get the bench down a little bit lower. So two reasons. One, we can get one more cut off of it and then also we'd have a, uh, a good size bench for the process. So there's the uh, Alaskan mill set to one inch. And again, just the way these two logs are kind of together, I had, I fought, had to fight with the starting point again. So this is me just having a little bit of a fight. And then once it gets going, it's back to the similar action as Alaskan Mill should be. But I, like I said, I had to come right on a quite a 45 degree angle before I could straighten out the whole Alaskan Mill. <laughs> These moments when I pause and stop in the beginning is because I'm actually turning on the oil or the extra oil or at the end of the end of the blade to give it more oil.
just did a nice little one inch piece. Nice little one inch piece. That gives a nice little platform there. That should work pretty good. Now we'll take one off of this one here. Notice if I don't have an extra helper here at the end, um, what I do is I turn it quite a, a good angle, so then most of the bar stays on for a majority of the time, and then so it doesn't pop off the end too quick. So that's kind of my strategy when I'm by myself. Allison is not, I don't want her using the saw yet. Uh, she doesn't know much about it, and I don't want her to get hurt. We're just taking the little one inch bark off the side of these so that it's easier done out here in the, the woods. We can just discard the, the bark in the woods here. So this is just us debarking. Pass me that axe, please. Be very careful, that is extremely sharp. Please, you go very slow.
Okay, here we got a nice one inch piece. Another one. And we're gonna take the bark off of these bigger ones here. Make it a little bit lighter and also make it dry better. So here we're just get, taking the bark off the the big log bottoms and Dan's getting some um, some wood pieces to put underneath so we can roll the backside of this log around so we can get the underside of the bark off. Oh, so you can come and come hold this thing, right? Hold it right here, don't let it roll. It's very close to the edge there. Now, we're gonna flip it this way. Use this to our advantage. Push. Push, Allison.
Alrighty, so we missed the footage of us loading them up in the back of the truck, which took a little bit of engineering. Uh, we just kind of rolled them kind of caber-wise up over each end and plopped it onto the truck. And from there, we were able to transport them back here, and then we used two dollies to move these on the on the cement, kind of like a kind of like one of those articulated buses, and. We're able to get them in place here, so now we can start building the benches. We're going to try to make some basic benches out of these pieces of partially cut logs. It's got the top part cut off. We've got about two thirds of the log left. And now the plan is to make, to make a five foot bench. So this is eight foot. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.